All right, this is Chris Fowl. And Dominic. Today, we are going to be talking about the article, Charts in Real Time, by Patricia McCarthy, which shows us how to um, create interactive charts um, that you can update in real time. And so it's a really useful um, function in Excel we can learn how to use. Now, it does this by using the offset and count of formulas. So today we're going to be going step by step how to do that and set it up. So first we're just going to add in the different dates. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start off by, um, we're going to use the data of coffee beans purchased. You can go ahead and grab January, grab it by the bottom right corner, you can drag it down and it will automatically add in the months for you. We're going to add in the title um, pounds of coffee beans purchased and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, paste in the data set that we have there so we have the data set um, set up now and so now with those data points in we'll be able to give them a, give those data points a name and add in the formulas okay so to streamline the formulas, we'll start with column A. So we'll click under formulas, and then name manager, new. We will enter the name as date. For the formula part, we will copy it from the article. and paste it under the refers to section. Then we'll click OK. The formula here refers to the dynamic worksheet A2 meaning it starts from column 2 onwards and the two zeros means that not to add additional row or columns. The other half of the formula using the counter meaning that it counts the entire column and we have a negative one indicating that we don't want cell A1 as a data point in the graph. We will click on new once more to create the second formula and we would name the name as beans. Under the refer to section, we would then copy the formula from the article once more. Paste it under the refers to section. And click OK. Uh, sorry about the copying the wrong formula. I'll copy the right formula right now. Paste it over here. And click OK. And that's it for the formulas and then we will click close. Alright, um, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to make our actual chart. We're going to select the data right there, and we're going to click on the Insert tab. Click on the column, Insert column, uh, Clustered column. We're going to select that. Um, we're going to go ahead and drag that over here. Now to rename it, the title, we can just click right there on the title that's there. We're just going to rename it um, Beans Purchased. Uh, or beam purchases 2005 to 2006. Just change that to beam purchases. And then um, once we have that title, um, there we go. And we're going to go ahead and add in the um, axis, the vertical and horizontal axis names. 
Um, when you're selecting this, you have to make sure you're clicking on the chart or else you won't be able to um, change that. So once you're clicked on the chart, you're going to click on layout. You're going to click on axis titles, horizontal axis title, title below axis. We're going to change that to um, time period. All right, and click out of that. We're going to add in um, the vertical axis title, do the rotated one. Um, you can do any one you like. And we're just going to name that one uh, Coffee Beans. Then um, we have our chart ready to go. And now we will want to link the chart with the table of data. And so first we will click on the chart. And then we'll double click on one of the selected bars. We will see the formula appearing on the top and we would just have to make some minor changes so that it will link directly to the table for this part we would change it to date and the other part we would change it and enter beans then we click enter now we can test and see if we have an example if there's an additional date of January and coffee beans purchase is 100 pounds. We can see that on the chart on the right and there pops up a bar of January 100 pounds of bean purchases and we'll delete that and we'll proceed to the next step. Alright, um, so now that we have an interactive chart, um, we're going to actually show you how to do it with, um, if you have multiple, multiple data ranges, and um, so we're going to add in a, a third column here, we're going to call it um, pounds of coffee beans grown. Let just say pounds of coffee beans grown. We'll go ahead and enter. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, paste in the data. And then what we're going to do next is um, we are going to go to formulas and we're going to do the same thing we did for the other columns is we're going to define the name and um, select that data. So once we click on the formulas tab, we're going to click on define name. We're going to call this one uh, grown. We're going to just um, copy in the formula that we have um, that we're given in the article. Just pull that up and uh, paste it in there. And then just click OK. And then now we have that. Uh, formula in there, we have that name. We're just going to right click on our chart. We're going to select data and we're going to click right there and select our input. We're going to select all of the data and just hit enter and OK. And then now we have a multiple data ranged uh, chart. And yeah, thanks.